Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. <laughs> blub blub blub. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I don't really speak fish, I'm sorry. Fish are misunderstood. With their vacant stares and gaping mouths, many assume that they're just plain stupid. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Fish are actually much smarter than we think, showing a level of intelligence that rivals rats, crows, and even primates. Which does make me wonder, what would it take for a fish to become as smart as, say, you? Scientists are still working out what intelligence really means, but at its base level, smartness requires learning. And to learn, well, you gotta remember stuff. You've probably heard that fish forget things after three seconds. It's a popular myth, but in reality, fish have excellent long-term memories. Take salmon, for example. After spending years at sea, salmon can still remember the smell of their home, sniffing their way back to the same stream to spawn. Other fish have shown similar signs of intelligence. In fact, some can create and hold complex spatial maps in their head, a feat that makes them better navigators than most human toddlers. This is what allows gobbies to jump blindly from one rock pool to another, without ending up on the deadly sandbank. There are even some species of wrasse that use tools just like primates and birds, smashing rocks to open juicy mollusks and sea urchins. With a brain that weighs less than a tenth of a gram, these tiny fish are so smart, in some tasks, they can even outwit chimpanzees and orangutans. But of all the fish in the sea, my favorite, the manta ray, might be the smartest. It has the biggest brain of any fish, up to 10 times larger than a whale shark, and it might even recognize itself in a mirror, a checkbox for self-awareness that only a few, like the dolphin, can tick. By now you've probably got the point. Fish are surprisingly intelligent. But in a battle of the wits, what exactly is it that sets humans apart? Well, fish are the backbone to all land mammals on Earth. 500 million years ago, they were the first and only vertebrates confined solely to the sea. It would take roughly 150 million years before some moved onto land developing longer limbs, better vision, and lungs. From those first steps sprung amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Modern humans arrived 300,000 years ago, and even now, your brain holds secrets of your fish ancestry. Sure, a fish's brain is much smaller, but there are parts that closely match the amygdala, which processes emotions, and the hippocampus, which supports memory and learning. The biggest difference is that your upgraded brain has developed large cortical structures like the limbic system, which is concerned with emotion and mood, and the neocortex, which is responsible for language, abstract thought, imagination, and consciousness. But as we've seen, just because a fish lacks these structures doesn't mean it lacks all these skills. Today, it's still unclear why the human brain is so powerful, but scientists think it's probably the high level of neural connections and not the structures themselves that have allowed humans to invent the wheel, land on the moon, and outsmart every other animal on Earth. So just give the manta ray like half a billion years and maybe it could do the same. So is there any other animal you want us to talk about next? Do you have a favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. Curious to know what's hiding deep within the ocean? Check out this video. First up, we have everybody's favorite, the giant squid. Well, everyone's favorite except for Herman Melville, who described the squid's arms as curling and twisting like a nest of anacondas. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to blub blub blub.